All right, it is Thursday morning. We're at Bayview. This cute little bird here has a little bit on the stressed outside uh, compared to earlier, but as you can tell, she's not in the best of health anyway. Turns out this girl's actually had seizures for the past uh, few weeks. Has been weeks? Okay. Um, we've uh, been communicating through social media, trying to get this bird in, in between scheduling and the whole routine. Today's the first day we could have got here, so we're looking at this bird today. Um, we have some muscle wasting of the pectoral muscle. Um, no sign of respiratory tracker problems as far as that goes. Her coenal slit is fine. Uh, nares are fine. All that is good. Obviously, she's a little bit on the weak side. I think her seizures are basically caused by the secondary toxins of the bacteria that we found in her stool, as well as even the, uh, the fungal toxins that we found in her stool. So she's, uh, it took us pretty much all morning to get a sample. And that's what her stool looks like right there. Um, not healthy at all, if I get that to focus on it. Anyway, um, I'll give this speech real quick. We were taught that in human medicine, the magic number is 95. In veterinary medicine, outside of exotics, the number is 98. And that magic number I usually use describes the idiopathic rate when it comes to seizures. In other words, every time an animal or a person comes in with seizures, it turns out that 95% of them in human medicine and 98% of them in your average dog and cat domestic animal medicine end up being diagnosed as idiopathic. Idiopathic means the idiots just haven't figured it out yet. The uh, being the idiot rate is as high as it is. We try. <laughs> no, no neurologist wants to brag <laughs> about being a neurologist. What do you want? How long are you doing medicine for? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, when it comes to neurology, we know so little about the brain and so little about how all these uh, toxins and stuff affect nerve tissue, and we're still learning. That's the good news. The bad news is we still have the idiot rate, and I have to deal with it and, and uh, you know, wake up with nightmares and stuff. So anyway, um, that's it for now. We'll see how well this treatment works, and that's it.